It's still popular, right? I said, I, I, yeah, it is. It sure is. I'm still listening, Mom. So I'm still listening today, Mom. Ah, uh, that's nice. So now's the part in our show that we like to call a long, strange trip down memory lane. Our co-workers at Dogfish have prepared a series of numbers on white paper, black writing, that should evoke powerful memories for either you, Both of us. for you, or for, okay. for me. We're 50 now, our memories are going to shit this year, but let's see what happens. You ready? Yep. This one could be for both of us. What do you got? On the Grateful Dead side, 2020, 50th anniversary of Working Man's Dead and American Beauty, a really big year in the Dead's history. Yep. Two big albums, yep. and this is the 50th anniversary of both. So cool, and we're proud to be part of that with Hazy Ripple. Yep. As I look at this, I would say, 25th anniversary year for Dogfish Head in 2020. 10th anniversary year of our Analog A Go Go Festival. We're proudly the official beer of Record Store Day. All right. And we do this super cool festival in the fall, and this will be the 10th anniversary of that. And you and I are, are in our 50th year this year, which is that too. pretty cool. American Beauty. Holy shit, the, the day it was released. The day it was released. Uh, back half of the year, because in the front half. Uh, Working Man's Dead, June yeah. of 1970. Yeah. Uh, seven days before the day I was born. Right. Um, so yeah, 11 170 big day in dead history. We've got it coming up in how many months? I don't know, pretty soon. Yeah. But this year sometime. Next would be, this is... The year we first brewed a beer with a dogfish head label. So we didn't open until 95, uh, which I believe was the year Jerry left this mortal coil. It was. And uh, 94, though, was the first year there was a, 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 a bottle of bear, beer bearing this logo. I Martha Stewart up some potato uh, stamps that had a shark and shield on them and made our pumpkin ale for pumpkin chunkin', which is an outdoor pumpkin throwing festival that happens here on the Delmarva Peninsula. What's the memory on this guy? Right? That's Thus far, either. we've yet to be stumped, David. Yeah. But this one could be a doozy. Let's see what happens here. 8, 15, 69. Uh, that would be uh, first day of Woodstock, I'm guessing. Well, I know it was the first day of Woodstock. Yeah. Dead played the next day, 8, 16. But for 8, 15, 16, and 17, 1969. So that was 50... 51 year older than us. Wow, a little Christmas. bit one year older than us. Yeah, a little bit older much. than us. A little bit older than us. So yeah, so that was when Woodstock started. It was yeah. a three-day festival, yeah. of course. Uh, and who ha so weird random shit about uh, Woodstock. Like, Sha Na Na played Woodstock. Yep, yeah, well, they were another? big at the time. They were big at the time. Who yep. else? Did Taj Mahal play Woodstock? Yep, uh, and uh, 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 Ravi Shankar, um, Jefferson Airplane, Crosby, yeah. Stills, Nash, and Young uh, yeah. when they started out playing together. Yeah. Um, Boy, Jimi Hendrix. Right. Uh, yeah. It's kind of weird. We're getting ready to do the shoot, and Crosby texted yeah, you. Yeah, I got an email from David Crosby. Information today, about avocados. Avocados. I was gonna, That's I my thought I was going to get that text from David. Yeah, I, well, I he asked me to pass it on to you. Okay, good, 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 yeah. good. All right, next one. Ready? Here we go. Six twenty-three fourteen. Let's see. Six twenty-three fourteen. Oh shit! That's the year we built this house. Really? The hotel opened. In June of that year, Six that years. day, my son and I got in a little Boston whaler and took it all the way up the East Coast on a little tour ourselves. Very was cool. Awesome. That was I was going to say the 14th anniversary of a good dead show I saw in Eugene, but that wasn't the answer. Well, it's, it's still, it's an unanswer. Yeah, it's it a is. good answer. Not bad. All right, last but not at all least. A sad day in Grateful Dead history. That was the date of the last Grateful oh, Dead show yeah. at Soldier Field in Chicago. Yeah. Um, they did an encore, a double encore that night of Black Muddy River and Box of Rain. And yeah. that was the end of the Grateful Dead a month later. Yep. Jerry was gone. And is that why they decided to do the Fairly Well tour in Chicago? When they it was a really back? big part of it. Yeah, yeah. it was, uh, it was uh, doing that at the place where they had said goodbye 20 years earlier at yeah. the time, 20, uh, 2015. And it was also sort of equidistant from New York to San Francisco. So they're kind of big fan bases on the East Coast and the West Coast could kind of yep. meet up in the middle. Chicago's an easy place to get to. And Soldier Field is a big stadium. There aren't that many stadiums that are so good for concerts and Soldier Field is good for that concerts. That could hold it that does. many people. Yeah, and Which seven, I, I think yeah. I read somewhere, you know, your mom who's not a day-to-day -day huge Dead fan, but loving you drove you like 15 miles to your first show. 15 hours. 15 yeah, yeah. hours to your first show in Hartford, Connecticut. But I heard that she 
got in touch with you the day of that show to say there's 75,000 people who see the day. Yep, she was uh, she was amazed. She said it's it's, it's still popular, right? I said, <laughs> I, yeah, it is. It sure is. I'm still listening, mom. <laughs> so I'm still listening today, mom. Uh, that's nice. Yeah.